Here are 5 more pitches for Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Before we get into the video, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Number 5. The Villain Situation There is no doubt that Jim Carrey's character in the Sonic movies has become quite important, considering that he plays the role of Dr. Robotnik, the main antagonist of the franchise. However, considering that he had announced that he was taking time away from acting, and he was seemingly seen falling to his death in Sonic 2, this makes us wonder about his character's future in the Sonic movie series. Jim Carrey probably won't be returning to the Sonic movie franchise in the future, because he has already decided to retire or take time away from acting. His only condition for returning to acting is if he sees the role that he feels is important for him to portray. This means that his time in Sonic could be up. So this is a complicated pitch. Of course we want Jim Carrey back, so half of this pitch is us begging Paramount to do everything they can to get him back for the threequel. But if that's impossible, then our pitch is to have Agent Stone assume the responsibilities of Jim Carrey's Robotnik. Stone himself might not be a strong enough villain to lead the franchise, but if the filmmakers were to pair him alongside Shadow, or even Metal Sonic, then that would make up for it. So what do you think? Does this agent have the stones to take over from Robotnik? If you want us to go in-depth on villain ideas for Sonic 3, we've been thinking about creating a 7 villains for Sonic 3 video. Let us know in the comments below if this is something you would like to see. Number 4. Don't Fully Redeem Shadow Whether it's Batman vs Superman or Godzilla vs Kong, modern movie franchises that see iconic characters face off seem to fall into a similar pattern. The title characters fight, and then agree to put their differences aside to fight a greater threat. Obviously, we want a showdown between Sonic and Shadow. What fan of the franchise doesn't? But the filmmakers have to be very careful how they handle this in Sonic 3. After all, if Sonic and Shadow team up straight after battling, it's going to feel like a repeat of the Knuckles storyline in Sonic 2. Shadow's dark side is what makes him such a compelling character. We want Shadow to fully explore this in his own streaming series or spin-off film after Sonic 3. Shadow could show that he respects Sonic, but he can't join Sonic's team as Knuckles did. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. This is how Sonic and Shadow's relationship should end in Sonic 3, only teaming up when the threat is big enough it requires to do so. Number 3. Where are the girls at? Does anyone else get the feeling that the Sonic movies feel a little bit like a boys club at the moment? Which is strange considering 43% of the audience that went to see Sonic 2 during its opening weekend was female. It's time we introduce some female characters into the Sonic movies. Rouge the Bat is the most obvious and safest choice, seeing as Shadow will be featured heavily in Sonic 3. Shadow is one of the few people Rouge expresses concern over and seeks out, while Rouge is one of the few people Shadow accepts help from and expresses gratitude toward. Designing the character for live action will no doubt be challenging, given how sexualized she's been in the Sonic fandom. Nevertheless, we're confident that the filmmakers can rise to the challenge. The fact that there are no female characters in the main cast is criminal, considering Sonic has such a large list of popular girl characters. Takao, Cream the Rabbit, Sally Acorn, and Wave the Swallow are all great choices. But of course, fans are most eagerly anticipating the debut of Amy Rose. Amy is easily the most popular female character within the Sonic fandom, and probably the most recognizable to a casual audience. But there is a slight issue around debuting Amy Rose in the third movie. Amy is such a prominent character that introducing her alongside Shadow, Rouge, and the new villain could overload the third movie, especially considering we already have Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles to focus on. Amy deserves her own spotlight, so a streaming series could be a better place to start. Then maybe she could head to the big screen for Sonic 4. Number 2. End Credit Scene Sonic 1 featured Tails, Sonic 2 featured Shadow. For our number 2 pitch, we're asking that Sonic 3 features Silver the Hedgehog in its post credit scene. Despite first appearing in a game that isn't universally loved, Silver has become extremely popular amongst fans of the franchise. Silver the Hedgehog hails from 200 years into the future, where his role is to prevent the ruining of his time by resolving the catastrophes of the past, resulting in frequent interactions with Sonic and the rest of his friends and allies. 